Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this little squad builder that I thought I'd do for you guys. To be honest with you, it's really not a little squad builder by any means. In fact, it is massive. This team is worth millions upon millions of coins. It is a very expensive side. Obviously, uh, you know, it is a full team of the season side. It is in fact a hybrid and I believe that it's literally split straight down the middle of this team except for obviously the goalkeeper Trap. I'm sorry, not Trap Adler. The Trap is the other um, Bundesliga league team of the season goalkeeper but yeah that's Adler there and this team is going to be really interesting I think you guys will really enjoy it like I said it is going to cost a whole load of coins and if you guys don't have a whole load of coins then you can go ahead and pick yourself up some cheap and uh, a place where you know you're not going to get, get scammed at all that's ultimateteamcointraders.com you guys can check out all the links will be in the description if you're interested in that that way you know you're not going to get scammed and it's from somewhere that you can feel safe buying coins from but like I said we do have this epic squad and whenever I do that guys for some reason I always seem to hit my mic and it seems to just make a horrible noise so my apologies if I keep doing that I just get excited my hands start flailing around and it all just gets a bit rowdy up in here but yeah none of that shenanigans in goals, like I said, we have Adler. Then a uh, center back, we have Boateng. This team of the season, Boateng, is a monster. Then we have Blue, or team of the season, Ferdinand. He's a player that I want to talk about a little bit more because at first, I hated him. But I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about him in a little bit. Um, we have Alaba there at the left back, 86 rated. That's really, really impressive. Um, then at right back, we have Zabaleta. I picked up Zabaleta in a pack, actually. I was doing a live stream, which you guys can expect today. I believe there's going to be another team of the season it'll already be announced by the time this video is up most likely so be sure to uh, keep an eye out for a video where I'm going to be letting you guys know about my big 1 million coin live stream because that should be happening later today then at the two defensive midfield positions we have Xavi Martinez and uh, Carrick Carrick has really surprised me I actually really wanted to put Fellaini ahead of him but I just didn't want to spend 300,000 coins on him Carrick was going for around 150k at the time so I decided well why not pick him up and see how he plays out and that's exactly what I did. Now, um, Xavi Martinez wasn't in the um, team, uh, the Bundesliga team of the season. He was in the most consistent one, the very first one that was released. So I decided to mix it up a bit, which was kind of cool. And uh, yeah, it works out really, really nicely in this team. Um, one thing I do want to say about Ferdinand, like I said, at first, I really didn't like him. But I played with him some more games, and I played with him in this team more. And he is just a monster. He is so big and bulky. I know he doesn't have the pace to keep up with the likes of Wellington and things like that but if you play correctly defensively you should be able to just position Ferdinand to the point where you can just use your muscle to completely dominate the strikers so I really do like Ferdinand now at first I just I didn't like him I didn't think he was any good but him and Boateng made for an awesome awesome partnership uh, Zabaleta he's got some pretty good long shots there's uh, times where I've taken shots with him and it's kind of lofted and floated near the goal and the keepers had to make some sort of wonder save but guys, we have to move on. Now we have the attacking midfield positions. At the left attacking midfield, we have Goetze there. Uh, Goetze, however you'd like to say his name. It's always a heated topic. But yeah, um, Goetze there, uh, his 90 rated card. Oh my god, I'll talk a little bit about it in, in just a bit. But we have the 91 rated team of the season, Suarez. And then at that left striker position, we have Lewandowski. Now Lewandowski for me was one of the uh, most impressive uh, Bundesliga team of the season players. He has been so strong. He's good in the air. Um, he's got good dribbling great shots you know all round just an animal um i know his pace was increased but he still doesn't feel that fast on the ball um i'm not entirely sure why that is but he doesn't feel fast but then again you don't need a player um that is super fast when you've got the skill set that he does then at the right striker him and rvp are just incredible in the premier league team of the season so i really enjoyed using both of them but let's talk a little bit about the individual players so um uh, for me suarez really good he scores some nice goals in this. I think he's probably um, the player that scored the most goals for me. You can see I scored a lot straight from kickoff. The guy is just an animal. Like, those sort of goals for me, I'm just like, what the hell? Like, how is that even happening? So, I was really impressed with Suarez for me. Lewandowski of course, doing a good job up there as well. Goetze for me was just insane. Seriously, I was so impressed by this center attacking midfielder. I definitely felt the difference between um, this one and his normal card. And, uh, you know, sometimes I just can't say that about certain team of the season players. 
players, but he was certainly one of them. I thought he was really good at that attacking midfield role. He attacked when he needed to. Um, he wasn't necessarily doing a great job at defending. There were times when he would track back really well, but uh, most of the time he was just so great doing attack a good attacking job, making sure he was that he was always an option when you wanted to attack. Um, then on the other side of the um, attacking um, frontier, I suppose, we have the right attacking mid, which in fact was Gerard. Now, Gerard, I had to put him in if I wanted to get 99 chemistry in this team. Don't get me wrong, his right foot is absolutely lethal in this game. Seriously, I was really impressed with his right foot, and that was a f bit of a funny goal, I thought. But unfortunately, playing him as a right a center attacking mid means that you don't get a cut onto his right foot. You know, you always cut onto his left foot, and his left foot is a bit iffy. You know, I didn't really think too much about it. I didn't really rate him. So I have to admit, playing Gerard in that right attacking midfield role, you really don't get the most out of him because of his lethal right foot. But if you get any sort of near post um, opportunities with him, he will bag them all the time. So it's not me saying that Gerard is bad, but I, I think that he isn't getting, you aren't getting the full potential out of him that you would be if you played him in a sort of left attacking midfield role. So with that being said, though, um, the two defensive mids are really impressed with them. I thought they were class. Um, they do such a great job of just holding it there. Like I said, Carrick, for me, blew me away. He seems so nimble. He seems so um, just agile, really, in that defensive midfield role. Uh, Xavi Martinez, for me, was a little bit more um, a bit more of a rock, if you will. And that was a really nice-headed goal from Boateng. Overall, this team plays magnificently well. Uh, if you watch a lot of my videos, you, know, you will know that I play very central football. I don't tend, to, don't tend to go down the wings too much, and uh, I tend to play just through the middles, one-two passing, and this uh, particular team accommodates so well for that. I had such a good time playing with this team, and you guys know that I don't enjoy playing with full team of the season side, so unless I genuinely thought this team was good to play with, I wouldn't tell you guys about it, you know? But here was a really nice goal that I scored with Suarez, so this guy was ahead in goals, and I just completely shredded his defense using Suarez there, and then a beautiful long range, and that is just the beauty of having Suarez in your squad. Right from kickoff, that was probably one of my favorite goals with him. That was so much fun to score, and I was so happy with it. But that'll wrap it up for today, guys. I hope you did enjoy this uh, little squad builder. Again, it's not very little. In fact, it's big, it's expensive, but my god, it is a team to just steamroll certain opponents with. There were times where I thought the team didn't perform as well as I had hoped so. For example, in that last game with that last clip there, um, we conceded a little too many goals for my liking, but Overall, just a very fun team to play with, and I really can't say that for a lot of team of the season teams that I've played with. So, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, click like down below for that super expensive squad. Until then, though, guys, I'll catch you in a little bit. Bye-bye.